This weekend, Hyde Park is hopping. The Hyde Park Jazz Fest is exciting, hot, beautiful, powerful, and for the most part, people are happy and free, expressive, joyful, and plentiful. Yesterday, this place was packed, standing room only, and barely that. As jazz artists, the Quince Ensemble and Dal Niente, Tamika Reed and Junius Paul, and Javon Jackson and incomparable Nikki Giovanni graced our stage. And that's an understatement. Amen. Mr. Jackson and Miss Giovanni's performance was titled The Gospel According to Nikki Giovanni. And boy, did she preach. <laughs> Pastor Sarah and I complimented her exegesis of that sacred text at the end of her performance backstage. You had to be here to know what I mean. And if you were here, you know what, why I said, for the most part, people were happy and joyful. Because at least one person expressed his displeasure as he yelled out during Miss Giovanni's performance in displeasure, clearly dis disturbed by her exegesis of Jesus' birth and her words that affirmed women and named that women are often left out of the story of not only the birth of Jesus, but that women are often hidden in religious leadership in the church. Ms. Giovanni expressed her gratitude that Jesus loved and affirmed women, and she quite frankly challenged and expressed her displeasure with patriarchy, including how it shows up in the sacred text. Surely men were uncomfortable, not only the one who barged out that door after disrupting the service, but others surely squirmed in their seats. I squirmed in my seat. But I listened as the wise 80-year-old, and she said, I recommend 80. <laughs> I listened as the wise 80-year-old Griot spoke her truth, a truth that resonated with me in the depths of my soul in my experience as a black woman. What Miss Giovanni delivered yesterday was jazz. In his book titled Music, A Subversive History, historian Ted Gio, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, he notes, from the start, the jazz idiom was built as transgressing musical boundaries and other boundaries as well. He reflects on Buddy Bolden's trademark song titled Funky Butt, which was indeed so subversive and could change each time it was performed, for that is jazz, that it sometimes served as comedy and other times as political commentary, causing an uproar in the music venue, like yesterday. Gioa says, here again we find that a respected musical idiom in the current day, that being jazz, originated on the fringes, infuriating power brokers and its audacity, and even inciting violence. Hear that again and think about other music today. Jazz originated on the fringes infuriating power brokers with its audacity and even inciting violence. He goes on to say, the next time you hear jazz in a concert hall, and let me add in a church, recall that its documented history began with an illegal and, re and riot provoking song that being Bolden's song, Funky Butt. And illegal 
and riot provoking song. Makes me think of Psalm 137, which reads, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat and there we wept when we remembered Zion. On the willows there we hung up our harps, for there our captors asked us for songs, and our tormentors asked for mirth, saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How, the psalmist says, could we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, O Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Let my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you. If I do not set Jerusalem above my highest joy. Jazz originated in New Orleans and reverberated out of the African-American experience and experience of oppression with the history of enslavement that continued through discrimination in every aspect of society. We are, we were, and often still are indeed in a strange land, a land that did not welcome us but always wanted performance from us and wanted to set the rules for that performance, yet jazz broke all the rules. Gioia, in Music, A Subversive History, I recommend the book, reminds us that most innovation in music, and I add in other art forms or in life in general, comes from those who are considered and treated as outsiders that outsiders of society's mainstream not confounded by rules because they are expected to break them anyway, are powerfully liberated to improvise, modernize, create, agitate, disrupt the status quo and create something new that something new is almost always eventually adopted as the mainstream. It is usually, he says, legitimized and respected and enjoyed by the masses. Yesterday, this place was packed, standing room only and barely that. But let us not do the injustice of forgetting from whence the art form came. It came from black people struggling to survive, yet divinely gifted to create. Not bound by rules they were expected to break anyway. That controlled their artistry, but breaking every rule they could to create magic through music. And I'm not a jazz historian, I'm a preacher, so let me stay in my lane. Here's the inspiration I am receiving for today, as you struggle with any area of your life, as you struggle to be creative, feel bound by rules that have blocked you from overcoming whatever has you stuck, locked into a pattern that is not life-giving and is causing you more tension and stress than freedom and joy. I encourage you to reflect on the subversive history of jazz. Realize that that same creativity is within you. I pray that you discover within you the powerful ability to improvise, Amen. to modernize, to create, to agitate, to disrupt the status quo and to create something new. Somebody needs to hear that again. I pray that you and you and you discover within yourself the powerful ability to improvise at work, to modernize and to create at home, to agitate and disrupt the status quo in the community and to create something new. Almost done. High Park Union Church. 
As you hold on to the dear memory of Irma and Willie Pickens and the wonderful jazz that blessed you in this place, Remember that jazz is one of the most wonderful expressions of freedom, liberation, creativity, improvisation, and even agitation. As you remember Irma and Willie Pickens, allow that memory to rekindle the creativity within you, within us. Allow their memory to bring us alive for the next generation to follow. Allow their memory to inspire us even to do a new thing. Isaiah 43, God speaks through the prophet Isaiah and says, I'm about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. As we have conversations about the future of our church and as we consider capital campaigns and embark on strategic planning, as we seek the knowledge and the inspiration to take us into a new generation of Hyde Park Union Church, may we draw upon the inspiration of the church's history including the memory of Irma and Willie Pickens, and may we, be, may we do all that we need to do in the spirit of jazz. In other words, let's play jazz. Amen. Let's be improvisational, creative, not locked in to boundaries that have been set by tradition and set by rules. Let's play jazz. Let's watch beautiful children. I'm sorry to put her on the spot, but I've been watching Nova all morning. She's not locked in because she hasn't learned the rules yet of respectability uh, performance in the church. And so she's moving and dancing and shaking her head. God bless you today, Nova. Hyde Park, let's play jazz. And I close by saying, that as we take a look back to remember from whence we came and then we move forward in the spirit of jazz being creative and improvisational, let us thank God for the memory of Irma and Willie Pickens and let us thank God that that memory is with us every Sunday in the person of Bethany Pickens and today with Bethany Pickens Soulful Coalition, let us praise God as the psalmist said, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God in God's sanctuary. Praise God in the mighty firmament. Praise God for his mighty deeds. Praise God according to God's surpassing greatness. Praise God with the trumpet sound. Praise God with the percussion. And the bass, which I played as a seventh and eighth grader, young man. Praise God with the keyboards. Praise God with the tambourine and dance, strings and pipe. Praise God with clanging cymbals. Praise God with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything, the psalmist says. Let everything. Are you everything and do you have voice? Come on, let's give God praise. Let's give God praise for the amazing history of Hyde Park Union Church approaching 150 years swiftly. Praise God for the memory of Irma and Willie Pickens. Praise God for Bethany. God bless you, Bethany. Thank you for bringing Soulful Coalition to us on today. Thank you for being an example of subversiveness. Jesus was indeed subversive. Thank you for being an example of improvisation and creativity on this day. Praise God. Amen. <laughs>